Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another 13 days of Halloween Tumblr tutorial. In this video, we're going to make a kind of like mixed media collage spooky vintage Halloween Tumblr. I actually made this for one of you guys, Chastity. She reached out to me way back in like March and asked if I would make a Tumblr for her and I said, yes, I would love to. So this is the Tumblr that I made for her. I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. If you do, you know the drill. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps my channel out and be sure to subscribe as well if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Let's go. <laughs> We're starting with a 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. This is a powder coated black one. And for the first base layer here on our mixed media slash collage tumbler, we're going to use this really pretty kind of purpley tie dye foil. And as always, as my foil adhesive, I'm going to use the Artsyville embellishments adhesive. Both of those are from Artistic Painting Studio and I'll have them linked down below for you. So I'm going to take my foam brush here and I'm just going to brush the adhesive all over my tumbler. What we're going for here is a really pretty kind of full purple base. So I'm gonna wrap the foil around the entire cup. So I wanna make sure that my cup is very well coated. Once I have the adhesive on, I'm gonna let this sit for at least an hour. I think I left it for a little bit longer, but you wanna let it sit for at least 60 minutes before you actually apply your foil. So now that my tumbler's ready, I'm gonna take my sheet of foil lay it on my table and then I'm going to put my tumbler you can see right in the middle there and then I'm just going to wrap this around now this is a really awkward thing to do the foil kind of curls and it was a little bit difficult but what I'm going for here again is a full foil wrap we want to get as much of this purple foil on our tumbler as we can if we have any black parts showing through that is totally okay too we just want to have a really pretty dimensional colorful base for all of the other elements that we're gonna add on later. To help release the foil from the carrier sheet, I'm gonna use my vinyl scraping tool and I'm just going to, as you can see, run it along my cup. I'm trying to get the foil to release from the paper or the plastic sheet and stick to my tumbler. So I'm just gonna rub that on the best I can and then we will remove our carrier sheet and see what we've got underneath. Now as I peel this off, I'm taking this process really slowly. I'm using that squeegee again as I go. I want to make sure that I get as much vinyl off of this carrier sheet as I can. So as I'm pulling up the paper, I am rubbing down the foil again because I want as much coverage as possible. So I'm just gonna keep doing that, pull my carrier sheet, take this process really, really slowly. You can see we've got pretty good coverage with the purple, but you can still see a little bit of the black underneath. And I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I used a black tumbler in the first place. Um, but here's what we've got with our first base of foil. And now we're going to take another sheet of foil and we're going to add a little bit of extra like sparkly coppery gold detail. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this foil and I'm going to use my same adhesive. So I'm taking a different smaller little brush here and I'm just going to create some random areas on the tumbler. And then hopefully I can remember where these are once the adhesive dries. <laughs> That's the hardest part I feel like of doing these little extra pieces you don't know where you put the glue so anyway I'm gonna do those little pieces let my cup sit again for another 60 minutes and then I'm gonna try and find those areas where I added the adhesive and then I'm gonna add this gold foil into those areas again I'm using my vinyl scraper to help release the foil from the carrier sheet and you can see it just gives this kind of like antique gold vintage feel so I'm gonna add as much of that as I feel is necessary. This is not mandatory, obviously. None of the things I'm doing on this tumbler are 
mandatory. Of course, you can do whatever you want. Make it your own. Use colors that you like and that you think will look good. Just have fun with the process. I love tumblers like this because they really give you a ton of freedom and none of them ever turn out the same. So feel free. Have fun. Put whatever you want on here. You cannot do this the wrong way. The next step in our process is to add some glitter, of course. So I've got some epoxy on my tumbler, a really, really thin layer of epoxy. I think I used maybe two milliliters of the Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy. And I'm gonna go in first with Smog from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's a really pretty dark, like gray gunmetal color. And I'm just gonna do some random little sections of glitter to give us some areas of sparkle. Next, I'm going to take Emmeline from Peach Olive Glitters as well, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that in some random spots on the tumbler to give us some dimension and sparkle. And remember, we're going to put different elements on top of our glitter, so you don't need to worry about blending your colors or putting them in any certain way. This is just to give our base a little bit of dimension. We're doing the same thing with the glitters that we did with that gold foil. Just some random little splotches to add some extra visual interest. After I had all my glitter applied, I let that sit and dry for a few hours, and then I spray sealed my glitter with my clear gloss spray from Rust-Oleum, and then I added two coats of epoxy to my tumbler. Each coat was about 20 to 25 milliliters. So now our cup is totally smooth and totally shiny, so we can add our first element here. I'm going to take this little planchette decal. This is from Banff Custom Creations, and it says, Never Trust the Living, which I thought fit, fit really good with the theme of this tumbler. So I'm gonna take that and just apply it to the top area of our cup where I think it will show up the best. Um, I decided to put this on now and then I'm gonna go in and do another coat of epoxy to seal that in. I also sanded down the top rim of the cup just a tiny bit. So now we've got our cup that has our epoxy on it. That decal that we put on is sealed. And I'm going to go in with my next layer of elements. So I got this pack of stickers on Timu, actually. I was so excited when I found them because I was looking for something like this. And I was shopping on Timu for other stuff and I found them and I got really excited. So if they're still available, I will link them for you guys. So these are little, like, poison bottle labels, I guess. Like different types of elixirs and different little, you know, like vintage -y, spooky label type things. So what I'm doing is cutting out the white border and I'm also, you can see, wiggling my scissors so that the edges look just a little bit distressed. Um, I just don't want them to be like perfectly straight, crisp cuts. I want them to look a little bit rugged, a little bit messed up and have that kind of vintage -y vibe. So I'm gonna do that with each of these stickers and I'm just gonna place them around the tumbler wherever I think they will look good. Remember, you cannot do this the wrong way. So just follow your heart, do what you think looks the best, and have fun with the process. After all of those stickers were placed, I did not seal them. I did not spray seal them or anything. I just went right into another coat of epoxy. And now I'm gonna add my next layer of elements. So I got these super spooky little images. I think I got them on Creative Fabrica, but I will link them for you down below. Um, and I printed them out on my printable vinyl. I used my print and cut on my silhouette. And now I'm just gonna take these different elements and layer them right onto our tumbler. So I've got this crow, I've got a bat, I've got a skull, a witch's hat, some little creepy like Halloween kid things. <laughs> I really wanted to just go with the spooky vintage Halloween feel. Um, so I'm just going to take these and place them. Some of them are over the labels that we put on, like we're doing the layered thing. And then some of them are just going to go wherever I think look the best. Just again, 
do what you think is right. Once those stickers were laid down, I did not do another coat of epoxy. I'm just gonna go right into my next element. And I found this Ouija board um, SVG. So I cut that out of my textured metallic. This is in the color Onyx. Um, and I'm going to place this on my cup line by line. This was a difficult thing to do, I will tell you. <laughs> I definitely should have cut this out with more pressure on my silhouette. It was really hard to weed. Um, very difficult to work with, but I'm really glad that I added it to the tumbler because I think it just gave it that little extra something. So you can see that I'm cutting it out without weeding it, and then I'm going to weed it on the tumbler. That did make it a little bit easier to weed, but it was still pretty difficult. So I'm just going to go through line by line with this SVG or this decal, and I'm just going to weed it once it's on the tumbler. If you are going to do the same thing, I would recommend either using different vinyl or when you cut it out, make sure that you cut it with as much pressure as you can so that the decals release from the backing or from the excess vinyl as easily as possible. That will make your life so much easier, I tell ya. Once I had this decal on, I did spray seal everything with a coat of the clear gloss spray from Rust-Oleum, and then I added my final two coats of epoxy. So here is our final tumbler design. This is definitely out of my typical Halloween comfort zone, but I love how it turned out, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial as well. If you did, make sure you hit the big thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and I will see you guys back here again tomorrow for another Halloween Tumblr tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you then. Okay, love you. Bye!